Hi, it's hi, it's Daisy Foss, and this is two o'clock now. Gosh, doesn't the morning fly past? Thank you so much to everybody who has uh, sent messages, who's asked questions, and who's sharing. Oh, thank you so much for sharing. It really does help. And please do share because if you do, then um, uh, at eight o'clock tonight, I will give a gift. I will give a gift of an angel card reading and a healing to three people that have shared. So uh, please uh, let me know um, uh, that you are doing so and then um, I will put you in that wonderful magic hat. Okay, so that's one of my special uh, little gifts for today. And uh, here's another little gift, which is the, oh, that's the crystal supplement I was in earlier this year. Amazing, I keep that with me wherever I am when I'm working with crystals. And this is the gift of the Soul and Spirit magazine. This is January's edition and it is absolutely jam-packed with articles, uh, angel answers and uh, wonderful feng shui from my friend Marilyn. She came to stay here, Marilyn Clark. Uh, Radley Valentine came to stay here as well. He loved it too. So lots of people have uh, been to stay at the Daisy Centre um, over the last 13 years that we have been open as a healing retreat. And the uh, subscription this month, if you subscribe, only 13 50 for three, three episodes, three, three magazines, and you receive a, uh, a Buddha, a Buddha tea light. Um, and uh, the one coming up is a, um, a Tibetan bowl. It's not this one, this is mine that I've had now for over 20 years. It's absolutely amazing. And I use the Tibetan bowls and the tea lights. You can see I have tea lights on the altar. I have the Tibetan bowls and tea lights to clear the space, especially if I'm working with, with crystals. And so I use a uh, sage stick you can see this one's burnt down a little bit there was a really nice one earlier on um, but it's all burnt down so it's been doing its job and they they come like this this is how you buy these sage sticks and then um, you smudge and you smudge the crystals you smudge the room you can smudge your cat your dog your husband anybody that you feel needs to have a little bit of a clearing and uh, i just take it over the crystals pouring the smoke into the crystals to clear it so um, uh, and over the cards as well to really clear the energy of the cards we are sending it through and um, as you can see I've charged the angel cards now with uh, you can't see it for a minute but you will do in a little while I'm going to hand this over to my trusty assistant there we go lovely thank you so it's been really busy here this morning and uh, lots of people asking questions. First of all, Lynn has let us know that um, she's feeling a lot better now about the tinnitus, that really worked. We have another lady who has asked me about her knees um, and uh, what we can do and if we can send some healing to her knees. Anybody who has any limb issue, whether it's your knee or whether it's your arm or your ankle or your wrist, all of these are your extremities. They're, they're how you handle or how you walk. So if you have a knee issue, you need to look at what it is that you, is stopping you from walking. What is it that's stopping you from taking that step forward? And as you um, step forward, uh, if, you, if there's an obstacle or something, then your knee, the cellular memory in your knee, will tell you there's a problem. And that's why we have issues of the knee. Obviously, I'm simplifying it, but if we send you some healing, again, what I do with my uh, um, clients is I get them to put their hands on the part of their body that they would require healing, whether it's their knee or their elbow. Um, uh, and if it's your elbow, if it's your hands, your wrists um, or your shoulder, it's something that you're holding on to. So if it's on your left hand you're holding on, then that would be um, emotional issues, holding on to your emotional issues. So again, just let them go. Smudge them, clear it with intention, or find yourself a really good healer who will clear 
the excess energy and get to behind the reason for the hurt, for the issue, for the karmic conditioning. And if it's your right arm or right hand, then it's usually a mental issue, something you're really holding on to mentally that actually you can let go of um, quite easily. And we've got Frankie who's asking about her tummy and uh, um, uh, women's pains, so the monthlies. And again, this is all about your womb, about you being safe, being secure, because it's the womb, the root chakra, the sacral chakra, everything to do with you feeling safe and secure. So we send healing to, uh, we see, sending healing to, to Frankie for that, and to Ruth, hello Ruth, and Katie Shepherd's also saying hello, and we've heard again from ja Jacqueline, wonderful, bless you, all these hearts, absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for sending these messages. And um, uh, the, uh, the lovely Deborah George is asking for a message. I'm a healer, Deborah. Um, I give messages through the angel cards. Um, I can tune in when I have my hands on you um, in a healing situation, but I'm not necessarily a medium. It's a medium and a spiritualist who can ask for, uh, answer your messages. Um, that's more Lillian than myself. So blessings to Lillian. Um, and I bring in the angels to really help you. So sometimes the healing takes place with uh, um, a miracle, with something that you, you, oh my goodness me, I only spoke to Daisy about that two days ago and it's gone. And it's not me, I really don't take the, the, the uh, accolade it is from the angels. It's always the angels coming through me and out to, to you. So, um, uh, if you um, uh, are uh, wanting some healing, let me know. Um, Alison, hey, fantastic, first time of watching. Wow, we've had such a lot happening this morning. Um, and now we're going to uh, talk about the, the, um, the way that you can heal um, your body and how you can clear um, any aches and pains and any issues and how your body can interact with crystals because your body is made up of crystals. Um, and uh, Bev, Bev says that she has had lots of healing with angels, so she's an angelologist, she definitely uh, connects with the angels, that's wonderful. Thanks Bev, lots of hearts there, how wonderful is that? So, we need to take a breath, yes I do talk far too fast sometimes, it's because the angels want so, to say it so quickly, um, they want to get such a lot over um, in this next section. So, we talked about your knees. If you have problems with your knees, rub your knees as you ask the angels to help you. Archangel Raphael, Uriel, Shamuel, they're all angels that bring um, uh, the energy of healing into that space where you have the intention, you choose to where it is going to be. So, we have um, Catherine, she has psoriasis and she's had it all the time since her dad died. Oh, blessings. Um, so you've lost both your dad and your little sister, um, and this will this is a bereavement. This is a a, um, a time in your life when there is deep, deep grief, and the angels really can help you at this time. Crystals can help you as well um, by by having I have an amethyst crystal. This helps to release any fears or any grief or anything that needs to be transformed gently and easily so um, uh, the first thing is with with grief with with any kind of, of uh, deep personal tragedy then an amethyst will help to to protect you to to clear um, um, another beautiful stone to do that with is a rose quartz and I have many rose quartzes here we we have the Rose Quartz community, Big Rosie in the garden. Those who've come to stay know she really is three foot high. She's absolutely amazing. But I use little Rose Quartz hearts. This helps you to reconnect with your heart and with those that have been um, taken from you through, through, through death, through accident or, or any other kind of trauma. So when your body goes into this trauma, it can cause your skin to erupt. And this is um, uh, often either in a psoriasis or an eczema or, or um, a rash 
or like hives or something like that, they can go. Hives can go within, within 24 hours, 48 hours, but psoriasis can take a little while longer. And uh, it is about helping to, first of all, help the body to relax, to be calm, to be in a healing state and not to feel so lost and left out. So um, left, left behind, you're, you feel that when you're in deep bereavement. So um, it's about feeling safe. Your skin, of course, is your largest organ. So uh, this is another reason why it erupts. And if you have psoriasis, um, again, in those places, you can have it on your elbows, that's your hanging on to something. If you have it on your head, it's because um, uh, you, it's, it's around your thinking, your, your brain, your mind. Lots of people have it in their hair. Um, I have uh, another lady, Deborah, so she's suffering from stiff hands. Um, any crystals that you can recommend? Yes, loads. And the thing with crystals, if you get yourself a little ball of crystal um, uh, and you just move it in your hands, um, I take it one finger at a time. I know that it looks easy to do, it's really not. <laughs> but that, um, that's a finger exercise that you, like the 50p, you just move them through the fingers, but holding them, um, the, uh, the healing, any of the green healing crystals will, will help, adventuring, Corolla, um, Advent, uh, um, Jade, any of them will help you. Can you see all of those? I'm sending that energy out to you now, um, Deborah. So the um, psoriasis can go. There's lots of other things. If you have a bath with oats, rolled oats in it, um, uh, put the rolled oats in a sock over the, over the tap, you'll be amazed at what happens to your bath water, but what happens to your skin as well, especially good for children, helping their skin to relax and to heal naturally. So um, we have, uh, um, oh, Alison, Alison Turnbull wants to know anything for tiredness. Now, I saw Mikhail, Mikhail came to stay here as well. Hi Mikhail, nice to see you again. Um, tiredness, yes, feeling drained. Funny you should say that um, about feeling tired and drained because in last this month's Soul and Spirit I've written about people who drain you, people who, who take your energy un, not knowingly sometimes, totally unconsciously. Um, it's about cutting the cords, it's about feeling safe so that you have time to, re, to replenish your uh, yourself so um, if you're tired stop stop what you're doing literally time out so that you can stop um, and have a rest have a break um, five minutes every hour um, you will find that uh, um, uh, your whole life changes if you just take five minutes out of every hour for you Take a crystal, any crystal. I love the, oh, selenite. I, I have a selenite or a jasper. One for the head and one for the, for the root chakra. And hold them in your hands. Um, they will certainly help your, um, your whole body to balance itself. It ha highlights it. Selenite is really good for the body. Oh, we've got Charlotte. She's got a knee pain as well. Comes and goes. Um, also migraines. Wow, this is a subject very close to my heart. Migraines and headaches. How can you really help with a migraine? First of all, we call the angels. We call the angels in to help you because a um, migraine is um, uh, everything in your head hurts with a migraine. You can either have flashes in your eyes or you can have pain up the side here or at the back of your head. But I'm going to say something now which will probably sound very strange. But a migraine headache is actually coming from your base chakra. Migraine is coming from fear. It's coming from your root, your root chakra. So any major headaches, I'm noticing that uh, Ketina Cohill has also said for neck, neck back pain um, and sciatica, that's all to do with the spine. So your spine, your headache, your um, migraines, um, is all to do with your nervous system. And it's about feeling safe. It's about feeling secure. So a beautiful big crystal that helps you feel safe and secure. 
we had some beautiful um, uh, um, the black ones this morning the magnetite magnetite I think it's over there the little magnetites um, I have them absolutely everywhere um, and the obsidian the tiny little one um, really can help you um, so uh, this is an obsidian this is a heart obsidian oh, I've put them so safe I don't know where they are they're here they're right here so I don't lose them <laughs> Lots of people are asking me about headaches and backaches um, and Victoria Jones as well. Um, migraines as mentioned, crystals may help. Well, these are the crystals I would recommend. Ones that really help you to earth, to ground. Because when you get a headache, it's about too much going on up here and you really want to clear it. So we call in the angels of clearing, Uriel, Mikael, all of the, um, the, the angels that will help to, to release and let go of all of the karmic conditioning um, and with uh, um, uh, too much stress happening in your head. I'm doing this because that's what it feels like to me. Um, and so to clear the head, you clear the root chakra. The root chakra is often um, out of balance. You can't connect because you have um, uh, you've disconnected with the earth. You have have not um, earthed yourself, and uh, it means that you have not got as much earthing or grounding um, than you used to have because you're um, uh, off the ground, um, um, hysterical, traumatic, however it feels to you. So earth yourself, ground yourself, use some magnetite crystal, some obsidian, some tourmaline, and all this angel feathers here, um, tourmaline, uh, that's blue um, uh, uh, goldstone, that's a wonderful, um, uh, uh, oh, I can't remember the name of that off the top of my head, but we've got some amazing big stones here. Oh, we have peacock. That's lovely. Can you see that one? That's a super um, earthing, grounding stone. And one of my most favourites is sodalite. So there we go. All of these will help with headaches, with backaches, and with anything to do with not feeling earthed and feeling grounded. And this can also mean that you feel um, uh, that you're um, anxious all the time and it can feel that if you're ungrounded that you are nervous, too nervous to do anything or say anything. And um, by, uh, by being earth and being grounded, you'll feel so much better. I will say to my um, lovely ladies who come on my retreats, earth yourself, be grounded, have a jolly good walk every day. If you start to get a headache or a migraine, go for a walk wiggle your hips, you know, really move um, your uh, um, your whole root base, hara, sacral chakra, everything really from your solar plexus down will help you to be earthed. Any money troubles are all to do with um, not feeling earth, not feeling grounded because you're feeling threatened um, and not feeling safe. So let's get the angels to help you feel really safe. Archangel Metatron, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Michael, all of the archangels who are of the earth, they really, really can help. I'm having so many wonderful uh, questions now and uh, the um, uh, uh, questions I've had, one about a miscarriage, I'm very sorry to hear that. Um, often this can be a devastating um, uh, situation and um, it does take a lo lot of love and TLC um, and be, be, be gentle with yourself. And if you know somebody who's had a miscarriage, talk to them about it. So many times I have my wonderful um, clients come to me and it's been six months to a year and nobody talks to them about it and it's a devastation. So if it's a loss that is a loss that is so personal, um, so if there is one of your friends or family, please share, please let them know that the angels will help them. The angels do help them. I have many clients who have been helped after this uh, awful situation happens. Um, and they've come back and they've, 
they've healed they've they, they can they can get back on the horse so to speak and they've got two or three babies now so it really is the end of the world at that time but it doesn't have to be the end of the world for a long time we really can help and the eight the crystals to help will again be crystals of the heart amethyst the rose quartz and um, here we have um, uh, the Monroe crystal beautiful crystal for the uh, the heart um, so um, I'm being asked um, uh, from Charlotte um, what can we do about throats well throats so we've we've talked to you about your your head so throats are very similar in that the throat issues are, are thought of as to be from the throat but in fact a throat issue comes directly from your sacral chakra so the sacral chakra is uh, um, blocked if you can't speak your truth you don't feel safe enough to speak your truth so I have this beautiful crystal orange crystal and a bit of amber this isn't a crystal but amber works amazingly at your throat at your sacral chakra the um, I have a little angel here made from goldstone absolutely beautiful put it onto your sacral chakra and uh, that will help jasper is also a really good orange crystal to unblock your sacral chakra when you have unblocked your sacral chakra this is your power this is your your strength this is the part of you that often is when you feel that you're that you're damaged that you're not feeling safe you're not feeling as if your uh, relationships are are um, strong you can't speak your truth you can't express yourself that's what happens with the blocked sacral chakra so to clear your sacral chakra you then clear the throat so the same with your headaches and migraines clear your root chakra and the energy can then flow through to your head to your brain where you use your crystal clear quartzes the the uh, selenite anything um, that is of a clear crystal here will now directly connect with the root chakra crystal the back to the black and white again as the uh, angels of awakening have uh, showed us that it's uh, all the colors all at once but it's very important to clear from your root chakra to clear your head and to clear from your sacral chakra to clear your throat when you can speak your truth when you can really express yourself then you can start to put the blue crystals the lapis into the place this is an agate here you can put them in I have a moonstone around my throat which helps me to speak a beautiful feminine divine feminine divine mother moonstone um, being at my throat to be able to speak my truth but you can put your your uh, blue stones here um, any of the uh, blue quartzes um, uh, or even um, some of the amethysts this again a beautiful little stone to put into here so I hope this is helping you um, Nancy um, message me afterwards um, Frankie you message me as well um, and uh, Charlotte thank you for your message that's absolutely beautiful really wonderful so this is the um, the hour the time that I was going to uh, answer your angel questions which I seem to have been doing um, uh, keep them coming keep the uh, energies flowing share as much as you can please this is how more people get to hear about uh, the angels, the angels of awakening, the angels of the Elohim. I explained who they were, the difference between them this morning. We work with the angels of awakening. Angels of Avalon are the angels of the heart. They are the angels of the rose quartz. I have a beautiful little rose quartz dragon here. Have you seen my dragons? I've got three. I've got a white one. I've got um, a beautiful sleepy one and the rose quartz dragon here as well. Um, Kuan Yin is the goddess of of compassion she's um, in with the uh, amethyst crystal um, cave and uh, you can see the adventurine and the amethyst necklaces they're all from Egypt and there's my little rose quartz dragon this is rose quartz 
um, from a one, someone in the Rose Quartz community gave this as a gift to me um, I absolutely love it. Um, our Rose Quartz community has gone right round the world. If you're part of the Rose Quartz community, uh, I know we've heard from Neve this morning. Hi Neve, Jasmine, Amma Prema, absolutely wonderful. Um, and um, the Rose Quartz community is where you come, you connect with Rosie in the garden of the Daisy Centre in the heart of Avalon and then you take your piece of Rose Quartz wherever you live in the world and you start your own community and that means any pieces of Rose Quartz that you have can connect with it and you can start your meditation and with them every equinox and solstice we have meditations here at the Daisy Centre that you can join in with um, online or you can come and stay we usually have a retreat at that time so um, Daily practices to be able to work with angels. Whoa, let's start with that, shall we then? Hi, Emma. Hello, Alison. Um, uh, so nice to speak with you. Um, so the Rose Quartz. The Rose Quartz community is so dear to my heart because Rose Quartz opens your heart. And that's how you start with a daily practice. It's, uh, it's something that we do naturally with everything else it's just the intention to 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 really focus on working with your angels we started off this session by clearing your crystals and when you want to work with with angels you want to get yourself a little crystal kit um, so that you've got your medicine crystals so that you can um, use them whenever you want to this is a little ruby isn't that lovely it's got little rubies in it um, and this one is a, um, a piece from uh, the temple in um, Abu Sur. I found it on the ground, I didn't pick it out, but it was absolutely beautiful. So much energy. I always put it on my third eye just to reconnect. So you start um, your daily practice by making a practice. I've been asked a question um, about how do you, uh, how do you start your um, New Year's resolution. You know, ooh, who didn't eat too much? I was on a seafood diet this Christmas. I saw it, I ate it. <laughs> I don't think that was quite what they meant though. <laughs> when my friend said, you need to have a seafood diet. <laughs> so we are going, oh, here's a little friend. So I'm going to show you how to make a crystal grid for your daily practice. And so, um, oh, thank you, Jasmine, for saying it's a good crystal kit. It is, isn't it? I love it. So we start with bringing in the angels. Now, we make a grid. This is a, uh, a flower of life, um, the, uh, the flower of life from the... Uh, from the uh, from creation it, it comes and we're going to talk about that at um, this afternoon at five o'clock how the daisy matrix how the angels come through how they can really help you and um, so we I put um, the crystals and we put them into a grid Let's put that one there and this one here and um, do it through the four quarters, but you can do it however you want to, and you are making the energy really flow. So here's from the crown through to the through the rose quartz, through to the heart, and I would put a um, one there that's a uh, grounding earthing magnetite, and this is selenite. The angels love to come through selenite and clear quartzes. Um, and that is a very simple crystal grid. Um, I hope you can see it. Um, uh, and that's a little practice. You can start that whenever. You can have it out all the time. But if you do, you do have to clear it and cleanse it. And uh, you do have to um, really take care of your crystals. Um, don't jumble them all together um, in, um, in a bag. Um, I have them in my box, but I don't move my box around very often. So, um, how do you uh, um, work with the crystal grid? It's working for you. So, with your your angel practice, you have the intention for the angels. You invite them in to help you. Um, I have something I call the halo angel salute, and I'm going to do it sitting down rather than standing up. 
and it's very, very simple. So this is my practice every day. And those of you who've had healings with me, who see me regularly know that this is what we do. You start again with the Alpha and the Omega into the prayer position, bringing your emotion and your mental bodies together and center, and then you breathe in. And you bring the energy from, through your wings, up to the earth and bring them all the way down. And this is again a little exercise down to the earth, all the way up through your wings and back down again. And you do that three times, breathing in from the stars and the planets, bringing that all the way through your auric field to the earth again. And as you breathe out into the earth, you breathe back in and you bring it up to the heavens and bringing the heaven to earth three times and then to your heart so when you have done this and some of you may have noticed it's a bit like the um, uh, the sun salute in yoga it is it's the halo angel sun salute without all the jumping up and down bits i know if we want to really um, uh, see less of ourselves at the end of this month we will have to do some jumping up and down bits but we'll come back to that another day <laughs> so your spiritual practice is that practice a bit more every day and you will really connect with them samantha's are saying um, any tips on using the angel cards i've tried a few times but i don't think i'm connecting or it's quite right. Well, the thing about angel cards is that it's getting the setting right for the angel cards. It's getting your space right. Um, uh, and so uh, my, I, there's lots of different ways of having. You can't actually do it wrong, Sam, Samantha. Um, uh, so it's, um, and as you can see, I've also started to put an angel grid into this as well. Um, Judith Somerville, ah, amazing, I was just looking at making a grid and your video popped up, how cool is that? See, that's angel intervention in my book, you're in the right place at the right time. So you make a grid, and I've made an angel crystal grid here, using the um, aquamarine, this is Marina, Gaius, and then um, the two angels, the rose quartz or the selenite, and in between I've put the earthing grounding crystals and that again is a crystal grid with this beautiful um, uh, piece crystal um, uh, um, ball in the center oh, I can't remember what it's called it's it is a quartz um, and then I've placed the angel cards around it these are my angel cards the angels of awakening these are the wishes I made these for soul and spirit many many years ago oh didn't need to make that many up Right, if you pull three or four cards in one go, again, was it a mistake or was it real? Well, I'd like to think that it is real because um, nothing we do is a mistake. It always is uh, how it is. It's how you look upon it as to whether it's a mistake or not. So um, the uh, angel cards um, I pulled, first one, I fulfill my life's purpose gracefully and so that um, I think this is for you Samantha because we asked and you when it happened so this reading so this one is an angel's awakening wish of creation for masculine and feminine energies to align and harmonize that's what we're talking about here this is the grid that we've made um, up here and it's about aligning um, eliminate the world of greed greed and waste with love that's another angel of awakening wish and then the one that really started it, this is the Angels of Awakening Wish for Creation, to recognise our common humanity and to serve each other in love. So, Samantha Ellis, that crystal card reading was for you. Angelic crystal card reading was for you. So if anybody else would like one, just um, uh, message me. Um, don't forget to share. Anyone who shares um, will get put into my magic hat and I will be giving away three of your angel card readings and healing this evening um emma nice to speak with you hello that's lovely too so can you do um so you can see i have have put out the cards in a in a grid in a in a circle and um there is method to this we have the the north the south and then there's 12 sets one for each 
of the nodes of the time of the of the petals and you can then just ask the angels to pull them and um, this is these are the messages from the angels and we pull this one and this one oh this one is what so <laughs> Yoga and exercise are essential for your well-being, um, a peace of mind and spiritual growth. And Bethany, take excellent care of your body. Give yourself a relaxing treat today, such as a, mess a massage, bath, pedicure, or an angel card reading. Absolutely wonderful cards there. So I won't put those back in. We'll keep those out for later. So uh, Charlotte would love a reading. Um, if you could guide me, I'd tr be truly helpful, be, uh, be lovely. Uh, Kath, nice. Um, oh, Samantha says, thank you so much. Enjoying the videos so much today. Oh, yes, have you seen the videos? I did kind of photo bomb uh, with my videos. Uh, I was told that I could take over Soul and Spirit magazine for the day. And um, we weren't sure of the connection for this live, so we made... Uh, the videos and um, it seems that they're going up every ten, 10 minutes every hour so I do hope you're enjoying them they are all different they might feel the same but they are all different um, Emma love a card reading I need some guidance right Emma so put your hand on your heart and as you put your hand on your heart just connect with your heart we're going to ask the angels for guidance I'm going to put my hand over the cards the angel cards and I'm going to go into this direction here. Oh, there's two for you. There's that one and this one. This one is about um, the unicorns. What would you see, feel, think and hear if your wish came true today, Emma? Uh, it's about getting along with others, see the love and the best within them. This is all about you connecting with your brothers and your sisters. And there was a third one that wanted to come out. And it's about... You'll soon see that the changes will make things better. So that's a lovely reading, Emma. Um, all about connecting with your brothers and sisters. So hopefully you haven't had any issues or arguments, um, but that maybe you, you need to um, uh, give them a call. Really make that connection with them today. The angels are saying so. Um, oh, Nancy, thank you so much. You've shared, how wonderful. Um, so Alison, oh Alison, you've been on two or three times now. Let's give you a card as well, shall we? So we're going to ask the angels. I use my right my right hand for guidance and my left hand for receiving. So I have a feeling that that Emma wants to have um, some guidance. So let's go here and pull this card. Oh, this is the law of attraction. Relationships and activities you once enjoyed are now changing as you become more sensitive and aware of energies. So the spiritual law of attraction is exactly that, the lesson of attraction. Um, and I think you'll find that there's a video um, today that I've made about the universal laws from the Angels of Awakening. It's a really, really beautiful one. It's all about a butterfly and it really did happen. Um, and it is about you sending out the energy and the energy will come back. So, Nancy, does Nancy want a card reading? Oh, and Ketna would like one. Frankie, yes, you have had some guidance. Let's give you some a card reading now. Let's go over here. This one's for Frankie. She's been watching us since the special, <laughs> since this morning. And this is wonderful. Frankie, you're special. Good vibrations are coming your way. These are Wendy, Wendy Tripleton's cards from the Soul and Spirit magazine earlier. Um, and absolutely wonderful. That's, that's a super reading for you, Frankie. And, uh, and I'm loving your comments. Thank you so much. Lots of kisses there too. So, Emma, thank you. That was lovely reading. Oh, I'm so pleased. Um, Charlotte, I felt guided to you last night I was getting a daisy and today you popped up that's what happens let's do a reading here for Charlotte let's do let's go for one of these here we are the magic in your life is inside you Charlotte 
that's your spiritual journey by Jenny Medley's, Medley's cards. Absolutely fabulous. Let's pull one of mine. And energy, the energy in every thought, desire and action is for you as well. And this is, again, one of the um, lessons that we have um, posted um, as a little gift, as a present for you on Soul and Spirit today, on their takeover day. I'm having a wonderful time. Thank you. I'm not putting these cards back because they're for the people that we've called them for. Um, oh, was that for me, Daisy or Emma? Um, we'll have to be in the moment on that one, um, Alison. I'm not sure, but I would. if you're not sure, I think both of them were probably for you. Um, Judith would love a card reading as well. So let's go over here. Optimism for you, Judith. That's the guardian angel. And that's a really, really lovely um, uh, messages, message for you. Uh, Nicola saying hello and says, Colleen, are you sharing, ladies? I hope so, because then we can put you in the magic hat so that you can have a free reading later on this afternoon. Because there was some confusion, um, this one is <laughs> Uriel, ver veneration, and this one I think is for, I think that's for me, <laughs> so that there is no confusion. So I hope you've enjoyed it today. Um, I think it was for Emma Allison. Okay, Emma, I hope it was. Let me know if it was for you. Um, like I said earlier, these card readings, uh, the, what we're doing today is uh, bringing the angels in. And if you're sitting at home thinking, oh, that could have been for me, it might well have been. My healing, the angels of the waking healing comes through and really uh, fills um, the divine lines, the vital web, the ley lines, right through to where you're living. So it really can go absolutely everywhere. Like my Alexandra um, would love to have a card reading. Well, join me again at 5 p.m. where I will be all answering um, the uh, angel questions um, and, and giving a lot more healing um, and more readings. Um, and remember, the more you share, the more I can see that you can share, we can put you into our magic hat. Okay, blessings.